camp. Plug in the fan. Although it probably feels all right in the shade. I might try to set up my awning. I, I wasn't even going to try to do that. Keep going. Keep going, dude. There you go. There you go. I wasn't even going to try that, do that the first day with the way that wind was blowing. You know, this morning there was barely a breeze. It started to pick up a little bit, but it could actually pick up a little more as far as I'm concerned because it cools the tent off. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Hmm. That's a good boy. Hmm. All right, so I don't know. Yeah. Is that good? Now you got to lick all the water off here. That's usually what you do. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he'll get he'll get here there's some right here there's some right there dude right there look right there see here here come on right there uh, all right okay folks we're gonna go to walmart and then home uh oh copper animal control Animal control right there. He's gonna try to control it. He's a controller. <gasps> He's gonna try to control you, dude. What you think? Hey, hey, copper. What you think? Huh? What you think? Huh? What you think? Yeah. All righty. All right. One more reason not to go to McDonald's. I was craving a large chocolate shake, right? That's all I wanted. Large chocolate shake. I think this is too high. I don't know. So, I go in there to get a large chocolate shake. I don't like those freaking things where you order and have to punch in everything. I wanted to walk right up to the counter and order. I'm old school. I don't like that newfangled way. The thing never freaking works. They had one at the Burger King and pay it. I tried it a couple of times. I never could get the stupid thing to work. People, there's not a car on the street until I go to pull out and then you morons. I just get tired of people. Especially when I'm hot and irritable. <clears throat> but, uh, so anyway, I go and I order, I just, I told myself, I just want a large chocolate shake. Oh, our milkshake machine's not working. Well, fix it! <laughs> it's like, it's good night. That's, that's McDonald's for you. So I don't, that's why I don't eat there. One, I mean, there's other reasons too, but that's one main reason. That I don't eat there because, yeah. Oh, I just want to get back up on the north end. And hopefully, the plaza there where Walmart is isn't is busy, dude. It's Green Arrow. You don't have to wait for other cars. Yeah, and be sure to drive two miles an hour. Cause, yeah, cause I like going slow. Martini Bay, you bunch of drunks. <laughs> Y'all related to Dean Martin? Oh, yeah, light screen. Oh, I'll turn the screen so you can see. Stay green. Stingrays. I think I made it through. Trying to get this single sit sit flat. Uh, I don't know what the speed limit is here. Road work ahead, great. I guess, I don't know if this is still Swanson. 
Or is this 95? No, it's not. Uh, and I'm hungry too. That's why I was, that's why I was wanting to get a milkshake, so. I do not know why this is not sitting flat. This thing's coming loose. Sorry, this thing's coming apart. Yeah, I know, Copper. If the lights would quit turning red on us, we could get somewhere. Yeah, we could. We could get somewhere, dude. What speed is this? Oh, this isn't... Okay, we're on 95. That's what I was thinking. I figured we had to be. Okay. All right, that much to see here. I'll turn it back on when we get to Walmart. All right, coming into the plaza. Well, I think I'm going to need to be in the left lane. What's that? No, when is that turning? Uh, I haven't come in from this direction before, so I'm Dillard's. I hate Dillard's. They, I had a really bad experience at Dillard's. I will not shop there. That was at, uh, what was it? South Center Mall, Tuckwilla. Which is a suburb of Seattle. Okay, where the hell is this going? Uh, I don't think I could. What the heck? This is London Bridge Road. Drove all over London Bridge Road, but never found London Bridge. Okay. I hope I can... Well, I know this goes back out to 95, so... Oh, yeah, the speed limit's 25. No, it must not be. It says curve 30. So I <laughs> that wouldn't make much sense if it was 25. I don't know. I didn't see a speed limit sign. Last one I saw, it said 25. So at least I know where this goes. Trying to get to Walmart. One thing I've noticed about this area they must not have enough money to make frickin' signs because there's no signs telling me where hardly where to go anywhere. You know, all the signs I saw it said London Bridge. None of them went to London Bridge. I drove all of them. None of them went to London Bridge. Maybe it actually did fall down. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, I'm about tempted to make it fall down. Fall down, go boom. Yeah, this is pretty much a bunch of dirt and sagebrush. 
Not much else to see here. What I want to see is Walmart. One of the, one of the things in your year. Okay, is this, who is this? Is this, who is this? Uh, I don't know. Alright. We're back at 95. So at least I know how to get to Walmart off of 95. Don't we, Copper? We've been there before. Yeah, considerably less traffic up here. I see palm trees. Palm trees mean civilization. It means civilization. It means maybe I find Walmart. Yeah. Oh. About halfway tempted to go to the McDonald's here and ask for a milkshake just to see if their milkshake machine's broken too. Because then I'm going to write a letter to the company saying, What's y'all problem? What's y'all problem with your old milkshake machines? You got something against milk? You got something against shaking? What's your, what, what's your main issue? Oh, I'm going to go here. We can oh, no I'm not. Oh dang. I was trying to avoid driving in front because you got all these pedestrians that you gotta stop for. You know, last time I ran them over I got in really bad trouble. I might well then stay out of the crosswalk. <laughs> if you don't like my driving, stay off the sidewalk. I got it. Eel, I yield to nothing. If you guys ain't in the crosswalk, you're fair game. You're not in the, you're not in the crosswalk. You get in the crosswalk, I'll stop. If you ain't in the crosswalk. Okay, I'm gonna go park. I didn't even hit my app yet because I couldn't Yeah, don't even look. You know, don't don't even look. Just walk out there and don't even look if anybody's coming or not. People are stupid, man. That's all I got to say. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Last night I parked in in number twelve right here, and uh, the gal had to walk all the way from this end. So I'm parking in number one this time, so we don't have to walk so far. See what a nice guy I am. And I told her when she was walking, I said, I'm sorry. I said, if I'd have known you were coming from that direction, I would have. Uh, parked here, so that's what I'm doing this time. Because. This is reserved. Just for me. Just for me. Alright. I'm parked. Now I gotta get on my app because I didn't get a chance to do it beforehand. Yeah, we're going home, dude. This was working. Oh, okay, there's also a Chevron in here, because I'm going to need to get gas in the next few days. Yeah, we're going home, dude. We're going home. We'll be there in a few minutes. Less than 10 minutes to the turn off, anyway. Well, it's not that far to the camera to the turn off. Man, that hits the spot. 
chocolate. <laughs> the guy asked me what flavor. Word for word. I said, yeah, I, I want to get a large chocolate shake. What flavor? Well, my experience, the large chocolate shake is probably going to be chocolate. Yeah. So, I'm going to turn it around this way. I don't know why. That's where we came out, London Bridge Road. Yeah, I wish this thing was. I'm sorry, this thing is messing with me. It's being a curse. It's like, okay. I think. Now, one generator did get charged all the way. It got four bars. So I'm going to go ahead and set, and, and I've been using the blue one. So I'm going to set up the solar panels. And try to get them both fully charged. That's the one thing about here as opposed to when I was camping up to Huntington. Every day is nice and sunny. Well, not every day, because we did have that one day when that storm rolled in. But that's been the only day. But at that particular time, they were all charged up. So I didn't need it to be sunny that day. I think this is uh, raggy wash. Shit, there's a sign up here, so.
Who do you have bebop, bebop about? Well, was that to turn off the mind? I don't know. Well, I think it was because. All right, I'm going to have to find a place to turn around. Wrap right there. People need to get off my butt. Oh, yeah, that must have been turn off the mind. I never saw the sign for Craggy Wash. Generally, you hit that before. All right, I got to. Dang it. Whenever there's a place to turn out, usually I don't see it until I have passed it. Havasu Heights. I guess there's places to camp up here, too, but it's like right by a bunch of houses or something. Uh, crap. All right. Nobody count? Good. So that at least I know it'll turn back into two lanes before I get my turn off. I, I, I swear I thought that was cracky watch because I hadn't seen the sign yet. Because you see the sign before you get to my. So I hope I can see everybody camp there before I get to the turnoff, otherwise I'll miss it again. Yeah, you you pass me on the right, dude, because I need to be in the left lane. Uh, I think that's where we are. That's it. Yeah, people, I know I'm going slow, but I'm getting ready to turn. So y'all need to understand. I can't turn. What is this moron doing on the road? 
what the here is. Dude, get off my butt. I'm getting ready to turn. I even signaled to the guy, like, slow down, because he was right on my butt. There was a guy tailgating me. Oh, man. All right. I don't know if I already filmed coming into the thing. I'm probably going to have to hang on to this because it's a lot of bumps. I came. In, I don't know if I already told you this story, but I came here the other night after I got done doing stuff, and I got so freaking lost. I didn't know where I was. It was in the dark. And Oh my word, it's horrible. I couldn't see anything. <sighs> I drove around, drove around, drove around. See, in the daytime, yeah, I can see in my tent. See my tent. Del J's still gone. He said he was going to go somewhere. I don't remember his trailer. He dropped his trailer. <coughs> Excuse me. He dropped his trailer. There. All right, Copper, we're home. Watch out. Move. You got to move your head. I can't move the gear shift. He's got his head laying across the center thing, and I can't move the gear shift. Uh, we home, dude. You can't have this. It's chocolate. Mm. Sorry, I'm like doing doing stuff, and the camera's like taking pictures of who knows what. Oh, I'm actually glad there's a little bit of a wind. It sure makes it a lot cooler. Let's go get some water, dude. Go in. Oh yeah, I got keys. Yes, 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 yes. Who needs a wife when you've got a vehicle to nag you, huh, Copper? Oh, I opened the door. That feels so good. Yes, we're home, dude. Just give me a second. I'm not young like you. I don't move as fast as you, dude. Yeah. Go get you some water, bub. Oh. Well, guys, I apologize that I couldn't get London Bridge. I tried. So I'm going to have to borrow those maps from, because I was going to get some of those at the visitor center today. So. LJ offered to let me borrow all that stuff, and I was like, no, nah, that's cool. I'll get it when I go there tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Didn't work. I need to turn that function off. I don't know why I haven't done it. I keep forgetting. Come on, boop. You going to go potty? You going to go potty? Huh? Is you going to go potty, you do? I don't think so. No. I think he wants to get in there with his water dish. Oh, I keep forgetting. 
it unzips from down here. That doesn't make any sense. It needs to un needs to zip from the top. Well, I guess you zip it from the top. Oop, oop, oop. Man. Oh, oh, oh. Well, for some reason, it's not as big as I envisioned. But it puts out some pretty good air. I mean, it, it feels good, and the wind's blowing outside, too, is coming through here. But I can feel the fan. It, it puts out, you know, pretty good for a little USB fan. You know, it's not doing not doing too bad. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking that it's cheap, so I think what I would really like to do when I have the money, you're probably not gonna be able to do it until next month because I just can't. It's really gonna be tight this month. So, but I'm gonna get me one of those um, swamp cooler things that you can get the floor swamp coolers, and you can get them usually for a pretty good price. Yeah, you know, not overly expensive. So yeah, that's my little Kukri machete. Yeah, I don't know how sharp it is. But uh anybody want to volunteer a wrist and a hand? I'll see if it makes short work of it. Got the tip. So yeah, it's pretty decent. Pretty decent sheath. So, <laughs> oh excuse me. Oh yeah. Make sure there's no bugs in it. Bugs really can't get in here. The mesh is very fine mesh. No, no bugs are going to get through the mesh. You know, they can't really come through the bottom because they got everything down there sprayed with permethrin. So, I pretty much got this set up to be bug free. Now, the, um, I did have a few mosquitoes up in Alamo. That's why I'm, I'm actually going to uh, spray the, the, the zippers, you know, the seams. And also the mesh, just in case, because you can spray the mesh with it. And I got an extra, extra spray thing, thing of it, you know, about that big. So, any insect, you know, it's gonna basically kill them. <clears throat> Which it's either them or me. <laughs> anyway, people, I. Apologize for a few things. Number one, not being able to find London Bridge. It's just that there's so much freaking traffic. You know, I finally just got. I didn't know. I didn't know where, where else to go, so I need to look at that map. And I'd really like to go. You know, because we're looking at when I was there. It was kind of like you know how you got the lunch hour from twelve to one, and a lot of people take lunch from one to two. So we were there, you know, right during that time period. And so you probably had a lot of people going different places for lunch and whatever. So when that milkshake hit the spot, I'll tell you what, it really did. I need something else, though, too. I need to find my bread. I had it. I thought I brought it in here, but I went to make a peanut butter sandwich earlier and couldn't find it. So, it's either under other stuff that I haven't really had time to look for. It. Oh, actually, I think I know where it is. I think it's in my gym bag that I bought. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I was going to stop at Ross's, too. It turned out that um, I looked all over that plaza. It took me forever to find the mail place. It's driving around. It's like, 
you know, and I found 1641, but it, it just, it didn't dawn on me that the even numbers were on the other side of the street where Safeway was and the hotel that we stayed at, Days Inn. So, and Waze, Waze is supposed to be a good, that thing was sending me around the parking lot saying, turn here, 250 feet, 50 feet, turn here. It was taking me on a wild goose chase. And so, finally, it's like, I switched to Google Maps, and Google and Google actually got me there. Because it said, go out here, go down Capri Drive, turn right, on McCulloch. And right then, it dawned on me. Ah! Duh! Even numbers are on this side of the street. You know, I didn't think about that. You know, I think about it with residential, but, you know. So, yeah, so once I went, you know, crossed over and went, I went, you know, you go by Safeway and it's right there. So, very easy to get to. It's right by, right by Lake, uh, Lake Havasu Avenue. So, I know exactly how to get there now. Oh, man, I am pooped. Oh, uh. Anyway, sorry for all my road rage and stuff, but people just, the part of it, I know that some of you will say, oh, that, but whatever. Part of it is being, having, you know, being an ex-cop, I have no patience with stupid drivers. None. People that don't know how to, like that guy sitting there. There's no sign that says no right turn on red, all right? The guy's sitting there for like five minutes. There ain't no traffic coming. Turn already. No. He's still sitting there. It's like, dude, are you really that stupid? And telepathically, he said, yes, I am an idiot. Telepathically, I answered him, yes, and you are definitely proving it. I mean, it's that kind of stuff just, you know, I know I need to have more patience and stuff like that, but. Stupid drivers, especially when there's a lot of traffic. It's just like, and I probably said this before, but some of you haven't heard it. Or maybe you don't care, but I'm telling it anyway. My biggest pet peeve is you're on a street or a road. Guy's sitting there waiting to get on. There's no other traffic. And as I'm zooming up, they pull out in front of you. They couldn't wait two seconds for me to pass by. Which, literally, it would have taken me two seconds. No. Pulls out in front of me, and then goes 10, 15 miles under the speed limit. And, of course, I'm saying, if you're in such a damn hurry, why don't you at least go to the friggin' speed limit? That, I mean, to me, that's just, that is rude. It's stupid. And it is stupid as well. Plus, it's stupid. I mean, that kind of crap just drives me nuts. You know, it's like, I mean, it's rude. You know, it's super, super rude. It's like, you couldn't wait to, you, you know, and the thing is, I'm, boom, you know, I'm coming up the street, you know. You should know, he don't want to drive 15 to 20 miles under the speed limit. Oh, but maybe he does, so I'll pull out. No, dude, you're right the first time. Or whatever. The wrong or whatever. Whatever. Oh man, that fan. That fan's with really, does a good job. You know, with the along with the wind blowing in, you know, the fan's really you know, it's not like a turbo fan, I thought it was, but I need to get me a turbo fan like the one I got in Texas had in Texas. That thing was Awesome. I don't remember what brand it was. I got it at Costco. That thing would put out some air now. <laughs> I'm telling you what. It'd blow you off your bed. I used to have it not sitting on my dresser, you know. Because sometimes my apartment that I had, a lot of times the air conditioner, the air conditioner would freeze up. You couldn't get 
the air to work. And so it's like I go in to crank up that turbo fan, put that sucker on high, lay there on top of the covers, and, ah, uh, you know. It's all you could do, you know. And then, the, of course, the maintenance guy come in and say, well, run, do this, run that, and do this. It's like, why don't you just fix the damn thing? Instead of me having to do this every several weeks. So, I really think that that would be a good thing to do, get one of those water-cooled, you know, swamp cooler things. Because you can get them for, like, around 100 bucks. You know, I've seen them at, I've seen them at Walmart, I've seen them at Home Depot. Home Depot is where, in our house in Montana, we had the floor air conditioners, you know, with the, like the dryer vent, you know, that goes out the window. And I was working nights, and I had that in the bedroom, and man, it kept it c cool. This is a cucumber, man. It did a really good job. Don't have the generator to do that here. I need to get one of those 2,000 watts or whatever it is. Those things are, those things are expensive, really expensive. You're talking anywhere from two to five thousand dollars. So, you know, but I get one of those swamp coolers, and I just have to make sure the wattage on it that I could run it on these. You know, or even one of those little tabletop cooled ones. You know. Get something like that, you know, would, would keep it, keep it cool. Cause this is gonna be beastly. When it gets up in the 80s, it is gonna be beastly. So, maybe in April, if I'm here that long, cause I mean, it just depends on how fast it gets hot here. Cause if it gets up, you know, in 90 and above, I'm headed to my property. I don't care. You know, as much as I love it here, I just, you know, if I was in an RV with air conditioning and stuff, you know, I'd stay here. I'd, you know, I'd stay here all winter, you know, and then go up to my property in the, in the spring. But I don't want an RV. I don't want an RV. I don't want because I can't afford the maintenance on it. You know, just can't. But I could get like a conversion van or something like that to where it's all self-contained. You know, and uh... oh yeah, I got to show you something. <laughs> I got to show you something. There's something, something. You guys are you guys are gonna enjoy this. All right, you know how everybody was. You know, you got these idiots that say that that I'm jealous of Chris and Holly. Not really. You know, I mean, I do wish I was getting what they're getting. I would love people to send me a bunch of gift cards to all these restaurants and stuff. That'd be awesome. But I don't have a kid, so, you know, I would, you know, I'd love to have that. I'm not saying I wouldn't want that, but I'm not jealous of them. You know, yeah, I'd like to have it. There's a lot of things I'd like to have. I'd like to have a mansion in Beverly Hills, but, you know, I'm not going to be jealous of them. I just wasn't meant to be one of those rich people. So, I mean, I tried. I worked just as hard as anybody else, but... I just didn't have that IQ or aptitude or whatever, you know, to get rich. And, um, you know, and I'm comfortable with less, you know. I, I don't have to have the best of everything. But, um, you know, people always say, oh, you're jealous of them. It's like, yeah, there is one thing that I am jealous of. Extremely jealous of. And that is their blue shit bucket. Well, you know, I had a really nice porta potty that, thanks to the piece of crap rooftop carrier that I bought, which was supposed to be very, very strong, 
not. Wait, I'm going to wait till I do a review on that puppy. It's getting a... I wish you could give it a zero star. It's getting one. Plus a lengthy reason why it's getting a one. But um, they have the same one at Walmart for they want eighty eight dollars. Well, I can't afford eighty eight dollars. You just can't. I mean that's you know bottom line. I can't afford it. So I'm thinking, okay. I don't like the idea of digging a hole, pooping in a hole and covering it. <laughs> it's like some people do. No. I want to be able to poop somewhat in comfort. So, what I decided, I can't, well, you figure, now here's, here's my thinking. $88 for the bucket. Or the porta potty, Walmart. Plus all the extra water that you have to use to flush it, because it says it takes. I don't remember what it, what it, what it said for sure, but, but I think it was two gallons or something. It's like no, <laughs> can't afford that. I mean, we're doing like doing good to get the water that we can get. I can't be using water so maybe it was god's way of saving me money because you know i didn't really think i thought about it a little bit but now i'm really thinking about it it's like when, when i'm talking about replacing it it's like that would it that would necessitate a lot of water to flush that thing and of course you're going to flush it more than once a day at least i am now, my sister, she can go a week without pooping, which I never I told her. I said, that's why you're so full of shit. <laughs> that's why your eyes are brown, and they are. Um, so I'm thinking, you know, okay, 88 bucks plus, how much extra water am, am I going to have to buy when we've been bit, barely able to afford enough water just for drinking? You know, drinking, making coffee, stuff like that, uh, in you know, using it in food, like with my rum and you know all that stuff. Okay, so we go through a lot of water. How much more water would we go through if I had that? I'm thinking quite a bit. So I'm thinking I either got to hold it for six months. <laughs> oh. If you ever see me leaning in my chair, you better get out the way. Oh my god, he's gonna blow! Uh, yeah, it would be nuclear, let me tell you. Um, so anyway, what I decided was. Now, here's the thing that shows you that God was in this. I ordered the toilet seat, the Ozark Trail toilet seat, which actually is very nice. Oh, yes, that's a very nice one. Ordered that, ordered a five gallon, a white five gallon bucket. All right, so I go to pick up my stuff. Got everything except the bucket. We're out. Okay. So, I went down to Culver's, had dinner, went and used their facilities before I left. But it's like, you know, I better have something just in case I have one of those emergencies. Because sometimes I'll be feeling great and all of a sudden it's like, oh, oh, jumbo. Um... Copper, I'm sure glad you know, like not like some of these other dogs around here. At least the dune bug is apparently the only time they're around here is in in the weekend. Because I haven't seen any yesterday, haven't seen any today. Which is like, thank you, Jesus. 
So, oh, anyway, I'm distracting myself. So, what I decided to do, I got that, and then went down to eight. And so, I knew that there was Lowe's. Well, there's both Home Depot and Lowe's. They had the buckets for about the same price, for something. But, Lowe's was on the right side of the street, coming back. I go Lowe's, come back out, have to turn right. Easier. Much easier. And it's just Lowe's. You don't have to go through all this other stuff. So I come up, go to Lowe's, and, oh, excuse me. What did Kevin find? I bet he never guessed. Oh, if I can get up. Man, I don't like beat. That heat takes it out of me. I love the heat, but boy, I tell you what, it drains me fast. Oh, Gary's back. Oh, that gal is... is Copper likes everybody else but her. And he was up <laughs> yesterday. I might have already told you that. Yeah, yesterday he was like, yeah, he didn't like her. I don't know why. It seems nice, but what she... She came over here yesterday, and I'm like, okay, I'm in here in the tent, and I have no way to get away. I thought about just diving on the other side of the cot and said, Oh, black hole! <laughs> I got sucked in by a black hole. I'm done. So, uh, if I can get up, this kind of takes a lot of the suspense out of it. Oh, my legs hurt. Just from walking around the beach there. It doesn't take much anymore. It really doesn't with torn meniscus. It really does not take much walking to get everything swollen up. And, oh, man. One of these days I will show you. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe by tomorrow. Oh, man, my chair just, my chair arm just went up my butt. Oh, man. Did that hurt? Oh, Jeff would probably like that. <laughs> Jeffy's gonna go buy one of these, and it's blue too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Jeffy, Jeffy, blue gonna go buy one of these chairs. Ooh, it'll go up your butt. Ooh, I want one. Uh, uh. Oh, I may just fall asleep. What the heck? Oh, TP. So here, the big mystery, which you can't see because I got the bag. Uh, it is. Come on, man. Cooperate. Oops, I'm going to shut it off. It is a blue bucket. Eat your heart out. I got me a blue bucket. So... Uh, oh, this might be a good pillow. So anyway, instead of 88 bucks, I spent 20 because it was 15 for the toilet, or 14, 14 something for the toilet seat, and then it was four something for the bucket. <laughs> it was funny because when I went to get the bucket, the guy was like, don't you need a lid? Nope. <laughs> nope, sure don't. In fact, that might be a disaster. Uh, yeah, it would. It would definitely be a disaster. What a mess. So, anyway...
So I am going to take it easy. Just relax. You, know, you go outside and sit. It was like outside. It was like fantastic this morning how it felt. Perfect. Oh, it's been a really good day. Is that us? You better smoke it. Um, he's okay. She's crazy. Have you enough flies in the room here? Are you taking me? Alright. I'm gonna go. I'll make the, the vid or put the. Ah, the cop <laughs> scared me. I had my hand hanging over the side and he licked it. And like, ooh, what? Oh, it's him. So. <laughs> so, anyway, after a while, when it gets dark enough to where I can actually see the computer screen, I'll be putting the video together and uploading it. So, hopefully, it will be enjoyable for you all. And then, I don't think tomorrow I'm going to go do anything because there's some other stuff I need to do around here. And then, so what's today? Today's Tuesday. So Thursday, I'll try to... I'll get LJ's maps and find out exactly where it is. I promise you, I will get footage of the London Bridge. I tried really hard today. But you saw how traffic was. It was just... And it's like, I followed the signs, and there was no London Bridge, so I don't know where it is. But I will find out, and, you know, if I could have got, gotten into the visitor center, you know, I could have found out all that stuff, but there was nowhere to park, nowhere. It's crazy. So I don't know if I went there in the morning, but I, I'm not going to go there tomorrow. I want to relax tomorrow and just take it easy. Or I might go down to the bay. There's a, what they call, um, God, what's the name of it? Something Bay. But I noticed on, on the map, on LJ's map, and also I've seen the sign. Road, you know, when you go to the road, it has a sign and it says something Bay. I can't think of the name of it. Just saw it on the way back here. But I might run down there. And see if maybe I can take Copper for a walk down there. Since it's not the main, you know, tourist area. Find out. I may do that tomorrow. It just depends. Depends on how much energy I have, honestly. You know, I mean, I've, I've got something going on with my body that it just, I don't know what it is. But I do anything and I'm just drained, you know. And it was like it was like that before I left the house, so it's not just because of the heat. You know, I just couldn't hardly do anything. I just had to go lay down, you know. So I don't know what's going on. But I'm gonna go try to Oh well I think I already told you that my the gal who's over in my care called to see how I was doing. They're sending my all my prescription stuff to Walmart. And, uh, so I can go, you know, pick that up. I don't know how much that's going to cost because, you know, it's like, ugh. you know, I haven't even bought food other than ramen and I uh, bought some chips and that herdez salsa which is like a dollar something for a thing other than that I haven't bought anything because I want to make sure that I got enough money to pay everything because I've still got to pay my phone i got to pay my insurance land payment uh, and then since I moved in to my rental on the second, that's going to come out on the second. I get paid on the third. I tried to talk her into it. I said, well, I get paid on the third. So this is going to be two payments I'm going to have to make in the same month. So I don't guarantee that there's going to be enough money in there. So it may not come out until the third anyway. So, if, you know, whoa, well, that witch you're picking up. 
Well, on the outside. Now that I turn the camera around. It came clear to here. Yep, there we go. It's like a fat guy with gas. Alright, I, I need to unzip these a little bit more and let that air in here. Yeah. Ah, man. I forget it. Dave, you were doing so well, and then you had to be a butthead. Okay. There we go. Oh, ho, ho. oh, does that make a difference? That feels good. These windows, you can see these windows are big. Oh. Oh. If I can sit up without crushing something, because I don't know what all I have here under my legs. Uh, okay. uh. There we go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's the ticket. Oh, that feels good. That is nice. And I've already got these pretty much unzipped all the way. So now we got nice airflow through here. Boy, does that make a difference, having the, opening those up all the way? Holy moly. Yeah, that makes a heck of a difference. So, anyway, there was something else I was going to say I just thought of. <sighs> but I forgot. So, okay, sirrah, sirrah. I'd have him a bee, a bee. Yes, this is not ours to see. Without a magic eight ball. What is that? Oh, sounds like a lawnmower. There ain't no lawnmower out of here, dude. Hate to tell you. Alright. I think that's it for today. Um, you don't want to just watch me talk. Although, yeah, I know it is pretty sexy, but, um, yeah, speaking of sexy, <laughs> oh, my word, if I was 21 again at that beach today, smorgasbord, <laughs> bikini smorgasbord, let me tell you, oh, Moly, I gotta stay away from there. I really gotta stay away from there. I just gotta keep telling myself that. <laughs> well, actually, no, I didn't really all do all that. Well, there, except for that one. Oh, jeez. But, um, now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I hope I sleep tonight like I did last night. I slept so, I just slept awesomely. It's the best sleep I've had. It was worth being up all day yesterday. Just to get tired enough to just zonk like I did and sleep. And I wake up feeling pretty decent. I haven't had it. I haven't had a night like that for a while, so yeah, it was worth it because I didn't have any choice. I tried to go to sleep the night before, but man, last night I slept so well. I'm tired. I think I probably will tonight too. I hope so. Anyway, people, I'll shut up. I just like talking. You know that. I enjoy you guys. Enjoy you guys' comments. Wish more of you would comment. You know, I don't know. You know, it makes me feel that not many people are liking it or watching it. You know. And so, you know, I hope people are. I really hope 
people are. Then you get these stupid asses that keep thumbs down. So what the, what the hell is your guy's motive? I and mean, what kind of people are you besides assholes? You know, you're, you're stupid. Because you, it's funny, you know, people believe some lying crap and have a vendetta against me and they don't even know me. And the guy who's spreading all this stuff is a freaking lying piece of shit. So, fat ass. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I brought that up. It just kind of hit me and it just shows you how stupid people are. It shows you how people will end up following cult leaders because they're dumb sheep. They're stupid. Anyway, on that note, <laughs> talk to you probably tomorrow.